say hello to Dudley. Right, in this week's Purina Pets segment, Vet Megan Alderson has some important information when it comes to pets and poisons. And we start the list with that irresistible treat, chocolate. Yes, we have some examples here today. Dudley so, comes with his own minder, by the yeah, way. Yeah, well, as I said, he's, he's grown. Sarin, and, um, she's looking after Dudley. And um, Dudley would be straight into this, given the chance. So I didn't so have enough hands. Him, is that what I didn't is? have enough hands to hold him <laughs> in the chocolate and talk to him about it. So, yeah, chocolate um, would be the most common toxicity that we see, actually see in dogs. Uh, it's probably, we get maybe a phone call um, every two weeks about somebody's eating the chocolate. Um, it's something that everyone has in their home. Um, um, chocolate cake, you know, another issue. And um, it really comes Look, down to... Look, is Because, I mean, I was brought up, don't give dogs chocolate, but I thought it just gave them diarrhoea. Well, it does, OK, but it's, it's dose-related. So with chocolate, um, what you need to know is about the percentage of the chocolate. You know, I actually got into this one last night, so it's looking a bit flat. 70% um, <laughs> um, dark chocolate, really quite dangerous. Wow. It causes vomiting diarrhoea mild symptoms for starters depending on dose and then it can go on to cause um, tremors, seizuring, cardiac arrhythmias and death you know so it's, wow. it can be really serious. Now this bar of chocolate could make a 7 kg dog which is like Bichon sized um, really really sick okay so that dog could potentially die if it ate this much. So we're not talking just puppies here we're talking No like Dudley dogs. maybe this much <laughs> okay wow. so he'd need a big bar and milk chocolate isn't so bad. What's so different about their digestive systems that they that They can't them? yeah they can't deal with them um, it's uh, um, the caffeine and the theobromine so there's two two um, product uh, bits in here that they just cannot deal with and it causes toxicity and, and, and animals are different from people and we do see a lot of products um, like for example medications that humans use given to animals um, that will cause severe toxicity, renal failure, death and yeah we do, we, we do need to talk to our clients about it so we're talking about, about makeup toxicity. is that all right it's yeah, like absolutely that fine <laughs> um let's move on to other foods that we may have in and around our yep. cupboards so I, I mean chocolate's the only one i know of really chewing gum okay like okay. the xylitol and chewing gum anything with like the sugar-free stuff or the the sweetness really bad for dogs and um, they get hypoglycemia seizure and die Grapes, not no. one that anyone knows about. Okay, um, they have to eat a lot of them, but it does cause acute renal toxicity. Quite serious. Another little one here, macadamia nuts. One macadamia nut per kg. So he'd have to eat literally 25 of them because he's 25 kg dog. Cause um, paralysis, um, weakness, hind leg weakness, and seizures. Bad news. <laughs> we have avocados, okay, that can also cause gastrointestinal upset. Again, dose related, so he'd have to eat the whole avocado to cause a problem. And onions, which is not really um, a common thing that a dog would eat, but you just never know how hungry a dog might be, um, causes hemolytic anemia. So all of those foods um, are potentially um, dangerous. Choc you know, the, definitely the chocolate being the top of the list. So you can't really um, count on your dog or your puppy to be sort of sensible and not go near it then? No, exactly. Um, and the last one actually, um, caffeine. Um, a lot of people will actually put uh, coffee grounds in their garden, okay, uh -huh. and um, we do find that um, caffeine will cause a, a fair amount of similar size to the tox toxicity. Let's talk about the garden. Let's move yes. out to the garden. Yes, let's um, move to the garden. Before we get into the stuff that we put on the garden, let's talk about some naturally occurring things. I've got, my next door neighbour's got a kind of deadly nightshade tree yeah. that's gone nuts. I keep tr getting rid of the bits that are on my side, but yeah, how so, bad is that? Um, it is bad. Um, and I think it is puppies particularly. They're out there just mouthing things and pulling up plants. It's not like a normal dog would do that, but, you know, he's out there just doing the gardening with us and it's precarious. So, yeah, I've got um, daffodils, rhododendrons, um, uh, yeah, as you said, nightshades, all the nightshades. Lilies for cats as Lilies well. Lilies for cats. Now this is a biggie for me. Um, okay. This is something I see quite commonly and um, it's life-threatening, they're, they're dead. Okay, so this is the, our very typical um, lily that we buy at the dairy. Beautiful flowers, often given as gifts. And um, indoor cats, especially um, Burmese or, you know, the curious little guys like a Siamese or a uh, um, Bermilla, okay, they'll play with the plant. 
So they might um, just munch on the stems or have a go at the flowers or even drink the water in an old cat. So it uses it as a water source. And all of the parts of the plant, plus the water that they sit in, can cause renal Toxic. toxicity. Wow. And we don't find out about it until the cat's sick two days later and by then it's too late. So very, very careful if you've got an indoor cat especially or a kitten um, having well, lilies. lilies in your house. Let's move on to some of the things that we may have in the cupboard that, are, that isn't a good idea and stuff we put on our garden as well. This time of year yes, we're cleaning the deck, the we're sort of... Big one. Getting yes. into the garden. Um, now, anything like any kind of house cleaner or as um, anything you're cleaning, even like handy andy, that sort of thing, okay, all these things that you can't drink, <laughs> you, you're, you've got a potential toxin out there. Um, wet and forget, we're often using that in our paths, and if you've sprayed it on and the cat sits on it, so this is a more of a cat problem, mm -hmm. they'll then groom them off um, and corrosive gastric ulceration, you're in the hospital, you've got a stomach tube. So, you know, awful, really, really be very careful about using um, products around the house. Um, in the garden, okay, everyone's got into the garden at the moment. Slug pellets, deadly. Um, they're just as tasty to dogs as they are to slugs. Um, there are, is a um, pet safe form, but it'll also cause quite a bit of um, vomiting and diarrhea, okay, okay. so it won't kill them. Uh, but medaldehyde poisoning is really serious. Can I just, because we have run out of time, yes. um, a friend of mine was looking after a Labrador puppy and it got under the barbecue and ate all the kitty litter that soaked up all the. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And he phoned the vet and he said, what do I do? I'm looking after this lab and it's eaten the entire, like it was like a kg and a half bag of this yeah. kitty litter. And the vet went, it's okay, just don't let him drink anything. And he turned around and there was the dog. Oh, like, yeah. Um, nuts drinking and then it just went like this, yeah, right? Yeah, So then he took it to the vet and the vet put iodine on its nose. Oh, yeah. And it licked it and then chucked vomited. everything up. Well, what yeah. do we do if our pets are, uh, are ill like this? Do we make them vomit or do we come and well, see you? Well, first or? thing is, like, um, if you've got, you're not sure about a toxicity, 0800 Poisons Line. So okay. we've got basically in the phone book, OK, we've got a poisons number on about second, third page. Give them a ring if you're not sure that your pet's eaten some pills or not sure what's happened. Give them a ring and they'll tell you toxic versus the dog's body weight. OK. Next thing, what else have you got at home that actually might work to make them vomit? So teaspoon and a half a cup of water may make them vomit. The best thing is to get to the to the vet, to the vet. and okay. Lux Flakes. So that's another option. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Erin. Well done, Thank Dust. you, Megan. Thank Didn't you for bringing the all chocolate. The things in. You can find more information <laughs> about Pets and Poisons on our website. Staying with pets, you guys have got some glamorous photos.